from the Oval Office of the White House, the President of the United States. My fellow Americans, I'd like to speak to you about the choice you'll be asked to make this November 6th, Election Day. I believe it's the clearest choice in 50 years on what direction our country should take for your future and America. We've made a new beginning, but there's more to be done. And now we're being asked to choose. Will we go forward with the courage, common sense, and new spirit making America strong again, giving us new opportunities and offering, I think, the best hope for all? Or will we turn back the policies of high taxing and spending that weakened our economy, reduced opportunities, and brought hardship to so many? America works best when we trust your vision, faith, and courage. When you have opportunities to climb higher and reach for the stars, but we saw that back when we let government control our future, America got into serious trouble. We saw a strong nation staggered by no growth, punishing inflation, record interest rates and taxes, rising unemployment and weakened defenses. We saw families encouraged to break up, bedrock values of work and strength of neighborhoods undermined, crime going up, our children's achievement in school going down, confidence in ourselves and our future falling. America wasn't working very well, yet those in charge gave us excuses, not solutions. And they blamed the people for their mistakes. When I became custodian of this office, I wanted more than anything to help Americans believe in themselves again. So we embarked on a new path. Greater responsibility in government, greater confidence in America, and greater opportunity for every American. We reduced government spending growth, going forward with a long overdue defense rebuilding program and won the first comprehensive tax rate reduction for the people since President John Kennedy's program. A 25% cut for everyone who works and earns. Tax indexing to keep government from profiting from inflation at your expense. Estate tax reductions for family farms and small businesses. A reduction in the marriage penalty. An increase in the child care tax credit. Higher rates of return for small savers and new incentives for IRAs and Keogh contributions. And what do you know? Good things are happening. Four years ago when Washington was calling the play, all they ever did was fumble. Today, people are back in charge and America is scoring touchdowns again. Inflation is down, but growth, jobs, and investment are up. We're reaching toward new frontiers of science, technology, and space. Students are doing better in school. Crime is down, our people are more united, and America is at peace. I wish I could take the credit, but it belongs to all of you. Now, we know that many people still need help, but all of us can and will go forward if we remember the one great driving idea for our future, economic growth. Lowering your tax rates further will mean more jobs, rising take-home pay, and greater opportunities for all. An opportunity society for America is our vision and our challenge, but not my opponent. His policies would take us off the new path of an opportunity society and put us back in the old path of defeatism, decline, and despair. He fought the idea of your receiving any tax cut. Now, to pay for his spending promises, he'd attack indexing and raise taxes the equivalent of $1,800 per household, which would eliminate growth and bring back inflation. His faith has always been in government. Ours is in people. He sees America divided by envy. We see America inspired and uniting for opportunity. We believe in knowing when opportunity knocks. He seems determined to knock opportunity. Haven't we struggled too hard, come too far to go back to that unhappy past? If we stick together, we'll keep building something new and much better. A renewed American spirit with a future of shining opportunities our children can cherish forever. Thank you, and God bless you. This is the NBC Television Network.